Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at the new Byredo Mineral Scapes palette. And I have to say, I really love this palette. So let's go ahead and we're going to start with swatches. So I'm going to be swatching, uh, you know, left to right from the top row through the bottom row. And let's just take a look at these beautiful shades here. So we've got this really beautiful kind of your like medium tone slate blue and this has a shimmer in there so i mean you can see looking at the palette that we have different finishes and you can actually divide this up basically in half into nine pan palettes there and you can see that this is going to be kind of your more muted shades versus some deeper more vibrant shades We've got cool tones in here, but we also have some warmer tones as well. So, but overall this palette is going to be a bit more cooler tone. So now this is going to be our, you know, olive green with a hint of gold. So we've got a shimmer there. We have another green and you can see how creamy these are. Uh, this one's gonna be a bit deeper. We still have a hint of gold in there, but not as much. So this one's gonna have more green, a little bit less yellow. There is definitely still gold reflect to it though. So it's kind of like a deeper version. And then we move on to this beautiful metallic taupe. Look at that. And this taupe has just a little, like a touch more of a silvery hue to it than what we often see, but it's really a true taupe. I absolutely love that shade. And then the next shade there is going to be kind of more of this really soft, light, ivory taupe. It's like a champagne taupe. I mean, look at that, but it's light enough that, you know, you could use this for, you know, like a pretty much anything, you know, it's a really light shade. Now it has kind of that ivory gold hue to it. And the last shade in the first row is going to be a soft pale gold. So this is our first row and you can see just that row on its own, beautiful colors. You know, we've got a few deeper shades, but we also have a lot of softer, more muted shades with shimmer. All right, so now we're going into the second row here. So we have another gold here and you can see that this gold here has just a touch more like a mandarin orange hue to it. There's a little bit more orange in there and it's a little bit deeper than the previous shade. Next up, I love this peach. This is a very shimmery peach. It's actually it has some transparency when you put this on. So you'll see in the eye demo for today, what I had intended on doing didn't really work out, <laughs> but uh, you know, it, the peach really doesn't overpower the other shades. This is our next shade here next to the peach. You can see this is more of a soft copper. And a lot of times when we've been seeing these copper shades recently, they have a lot of red in them. And this one doesn't, it's pretty balanced. Next, we have our first matte of the palette. And this is gonna be more of a dusty rose, kind of like a clay rose shade. Think, you know, clay dirt. And then we have a satin. And you can see that this one's more of a satin matte. It does not have as much shimmer as the others. And this one here, it's like, it's a brown with a touch of purple in there. And then our last shade in the middle row is going to be this deep, I mean, look at this. It, we've got a bunch of different shades in here. We've got gray, we've got blue, and we've got a hint of dusty purple. It's really beautiful. So from here, this is our middle row, and this here is our first row. And let's take a look at the last one, and you can see that we've got some pretty daring deep shades in here as well. I mean, look at this blue. Now, people who are really good at eye makeup application, really, you know, skilled with that, these blues are gonna make awesome. I mean, there's, you can make some really incredible looks with that. I don't have those skills. You can see that this blue, although it's a deep blue, it does uh, kind of blend out to a teal and we have some shimmer in there. The next shade to that is gonna be more of a sage green. You can see this is gonna be pretty soft. This is gonna be more of a, it's more like that satin matte formula that we just saw with the brown. 
and it's really be beautiful. We do have a subtle shimmer in there and there's a little bit more gray in there than the other greens we've been looking at. Next up, this is gonna be more of a teal and you can see this one has more green in it than the previous one. And then our next shade here is going to be this purpley gray. I mean, I love that. It is just such a beautiful shade. It is cooler in tone. And then we have another matte. This is going to be a soft gray. And again, we have a little bit of bluish purple vibe in there. You know how grays always take on another hue. Sometimes it's brown, sometimes it's purple. This is gonna be more of that purpley blue vibe. And then our last shade here is going to be a very soft satin brown. And it's warmer than some of the other ones that we've seen, but it is neutral and it actually leans slightly cool because we have this little bit of this like purpley rosy vibe to it, but it's definitely brown. So this is the whole palette as a whole. Just gonna bring you in close so you can see these. I'll bring my arm in close. And I just think it is absolutely beautiful. So let's move on to the eye demos. So this palette is limited edition. It has a one year shelf life. We have 30 grams of product and it is going to be made in Italy. I think it's an absolutely beautiful palette. We do have names for the shades written on the back of the palette. People who are really great at eye makeup application, the precision, those deep blues and teals, uh, they could be applied super beautifully. Um, if you are somebody who doesn't have as much skill, they can be a bit messy because, you know, if you're familiar with blue pigments, they kind of get everywhere. They never really truly blend away. So the two deeper shades in the bottom row, those can be a little bit messy depending on your skill of application. The lighter blue, such as the first one in the palette, that one actually blends out beautifully. It's essentially more of a neutral. Think of it like blue jeans. So I think it's a really beautiful shade there. And what I love about this palette is the formulas are creamy. They're easy to use. The mattes, I would have to say that first like clay rose matte, that one is only okay. That one for me feels a little bit drier than my other ones, but it's still not dry. It still performs well and it actually makes a really beautiful base shade. So I think it's a really beautiful effective shade, but just something to note there if you wanted to use that all in like as a one and done shade. That one to me just is a little bit patchier on its own, but for blending into the crease or blending out other shades, I think it works beautifully. Now, you know, we've got a lot of shades in here that are blues and greens and so forth, or even your peaches and your corals, yet they're all different from each other. So I can see the reason to include all of them. Would you have these shades in your collection already? You might. I, I mean, it kind of depends what palettes you already have in your collection, but I would have to say, if you are somebody who loves cool tone eyeshadows, this palette is definitely one that you would cherish because not only are the formulas really great, <laughs> I mean, like they perform very nicely. We've seen, you know, hit or miss formulas from Byredo in the past. These are all fantastic. So no issues with any of the shades. So not only do we have great formulas, but we also have a plethora of cool tone shades in a palette. Instead of shades that are being called cool that are truly warm or at best neutral. So we've got those cool tone shades. We have you know, blues and greens, we've got some purples, some like dusty purples, but we also have some of those cooler neutrals and those taupes and so forth. To balance things out, these beautiful peaches and dusty rose shades, you know, I feel like those really help kind of warm things up a little bit. They complement the cool tones in this palette really well. I personally love seeing that shimmery peach with the greens and with the blues. It goes nicely with that dusty purple as well. But I think we have such a nice complement of shades. Even our golds here, they're not too yellow or too warm of a gold. They still, they're a warm shade, but they have a touch of coolness to them. And it really helps warm up the cool tone shades in the palette while still 
you know, it warms them up, but it's not overly warm. So it complements them and it, it just makes a nice addition. It helps balance things out. So I have to say, I absolutely love the shades that were included in this palette. Uh, you know, I can't complain about any of them. The two deeper blues I think are beautiful. I wouldn't have minded having one more blue somewhere in this palette that's kind of in between the depth of the first shade and the other two. Those are both fairly deep with just a touch more shimmer. But, you know, that's just a, a personal thing. I, I can't think of a shade that I would replace in this palette. Now, if you are somebody who loves matte shadows, we don't have a lot of those in this palette. So, you know, depending on how you like to apply your makeup and what you like to use as a base, you may or may not want to include a, you know, a separate shade for this. Personally, I don't think it's necessary because the mattes that they have included and those satin mattes, if you want just a touch of shimmer, they are pretty neutral and they work really well with pretty much all of the shades in the palette. So I don't think that they're, it, that it's necessary to use another shade um, but if you do prefer more matte with just a touch of shimmer, that might be something to consider. Now, as you can see in the eye demos, I wanted to try to utilize, you know, pretty much every shadow in the palette. And I wanted to showcase how we can get some really lighter everyday looks. And we can also get some uh, deeper looks in there as well. So you can definitely, you know, gravitate more towards your neutral topes and so forth for a very sophisticated, you know, everyday work look. But you could also do that with some of these softer colors as well. And I think it's just, a, a nice updated version. So personally, I'm a huge fan of this palette. Now, just a little bit of information directly from the Byredo website. It is described as a limited edition 18 colors palette inspired by the coloration and materiality of Byredo's native Sweden and the natural rural landscapes that exerts its pull. And I personally, I can definitely see that, you know, you've got those kind of grassy greens, you've got those blues, lighter to deeper, you even have those dusky purples. And that reminds me of the sky as the seasons change or as you're looking at a different part of the horizon. I can definitely see uh, like summer nights. That, that's what this palette makes me think of. So uh, continuing from Byredo, it says cool shades of Northern spring colors from serene nudes via glittering stones to rich and velvety deep blues are cut through with silvered shine, creating an instinctive and sensual narrative through balance, sophistication, and freshness. The soft, creamy, and lightweight second skin textures deliver rich color payoff in a single stroke and can be easily blended and layered. The effortless gliding application and long lasting wear encourages intuitive experimentation. Housed in a mirror steel case, designed by founder and creative director Ben Gorham with the mineral stones that reflect the shades of the palette. Mineral scapes is not strictly about where we come from geographically, it's about something more ancient, our DNA, a cellular memory. It's about how landscape and memory have shaped us over millennia it's a story that starts before you and ends after you. And that is a quote directly from Lucia Pica, who is our creative image and makeup partner at Byredo now. So I have to say, I think this palette is incredibly beautiful. I'm loving this palette. And for me, who, you know, I personally love cooler tone eyeshadows, this is definitely a must have for me. And you know, I'm just so happy to see something like this that has come out with so many different shades. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few comparisons and see how this compares to some previous products. All right, so here is the Byredo Mineral Scapes. We're going to do just a few random swatches first. I wanted to take a look at this peach here in the new Dior palette. And I wanted to see how this compares to the peach in the Byredo. And you can see that the Dior it's a little lighter and just a little bit of a pinkier shade. And, you know, I just, I think it's a beautiful shade. That's really the only one in this palette though that is similar to anything in the Mineral Scapes. I also want to take a look at this YSL shade. This is number 28. And this, you know, is, it's a favorite of mine. So let's put it right here. You can see it's a little bit more, we've got a little bit more of that blue gray than we do in the Byredo. Byredo's a bit more neutral. 
really beautiful shade. This is one of my most used singles. And then I want to take a look at this one. This was the Dior Backstage Silver Essentials that came out around the holiday. We're just gonna go ahead, we'll just do some quick swatches of this whole palette here so you can kind of see that. And I'm just gonna put it down here. You can see we also have kind of this soft peachy pink kind of shade there. And then this palette has a little bit more, we've got, you know, a, a bigger ratio of mattes. And we have kind of a dusty purple here. You can see it's got a bit more grape in there, whereas the purples in the Byredo have more blue. We have a silver, kind of like a whitish silver, and a little bit more of a deeper one. You can see we don't really have too much silver per se, like no direct silvers in the uh, Byredo. We have kind of this deep charcoal gray. Again, that's not something we really have in the Byredo. And this very soft, pale, light pink. And then our last two shades here, we have a light lavender and a deeper, more maroon shade. So this is the Dior Silver Essentials, which I wish they would bring that back and make that a permanent palette, but they haven't, so we'll see. But you can see it is pretty different from the Byredo Mineral Scapes. So I'm gonna remove these other swatches here so we can go ahead and look at some Byredo palettes. So we're gonna start off with this one from Byredo. This came out the holiday season. This is Self Illusion. And we're gonna go ahead and just swatch this kind of down here. Um, you can see we start off with kind of this charcoal gray, which again, we don't really have here, but then we have this blue, which is kind of a cross between this first more denim blue, which has some shimmer, by the way, this really is more satin, whereas this has a little bit more shimmer to it, uh, and the teal. So it's actually more of a cross between these two. So this is kind of in the middle. Then we have this you know, lighter shade here, which is gonna be more of a silver with a touch of like this bluish green hue to it. We have a gold and a deep brown, which warm it up. So this here is Self Illusion. So if you have that palette, you can see how it compares. Next, my favorite by Rito palette. This is Metal Boots in the Snow. And I have to say, I don't know, this one really, it competes a lot with it. So we do have this silver here, which is basically just like a, a glitter. So you can see there, it presses on, it performs better than some of the pressed glitters they've used in some other palettes. Then we have kind of this deep green, and you can see we have some gold in there. You can see how that compares to this. It's a little bit deeper, and we have a little bit less of that metallic vibe in this shade. Then in the middle, we have this deep steel blue. And this is, it's more, these both have too much green in them to be similar, but it's at this depth level and we have a bit more gray in there. Now that shade doesn't really have shimmer. That's gonna be more of your matte shade. And then we have this green duochrome which you can see we have kind of that green and brown, and let's see if I can squeeze in there. our last shade here is a silver. So this is Metal Boots in the Snow. This duochrome shade obviously is gonna be pretty different from any of the shades here since none of these are duochromes, but if you're looking at just the green hue, it's closest to the second shade here. So uh, yeah, that would be our closest shade match to it. Let's take a look at this one as well. This is Corporate Colors. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one right above it. So we have kind of this warm ivory shade. This is gonna be closest in tone to, it's actually closer to this one because it's got a bit of that orangey vibe, but it's lighter. And it's not quite, it's a bit of a drier shade. That one doesn't perform as well as the ones in the new palette. These Byredo Nugget palettes have been hit or miss with the formulas. And um, you know, this one had kind of a mix of shades. We have kind of this deep rust shade, and then this is gonna be our deep forest green. We don't have a duplicate of it. It has more blue in it than this green here, and it's also a little bit deeper, but that would be our closest. And then the last shade in this palette here is kind of a deep brown, and it's a cooler tone, cocoa brown. But again, nothing in mineral scapes. All right, this palette here, this is Sciomancer, and we're just gonna swatch the green and the blue here. 
So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at those. So here's the blue. You can see it's definitely very bright. And here's our green. And our green is more of a grass green. It's a bit brighter than these. And depth of color is kind of in between these two. And then this one here is Siren. So we might as well swatch the blue and this uh, more taupey shade here. So we'll put these right here at the top. So our blue, this is more of a blue purple. You can see it is different from those. And then we have this shade here, which is kind of a, a golden taupe. It's kind of a mix of these two here together if you were to mix those, but yeah, it's a little bit more intense. And last up, this is Disco. So let's see how this second shade here kind of compares to this one. We'll just put that kind of close. You can see this is gonna be more of your reddish orangey copper compared to the um, mineral scapes. And then let's take a look at this first shade here and see how that compares with, yeah, that's more peach. So I wasn't sure how that would compare with those, but you can see it's it's definitely got more, more orange in both of those shades. All right, so now I'm gonna remove these swatches and we are gonna take a look at the other 18 color Byredo palette that I have. Now the other Byredo palette I have is the Flora Kalahari and you can see that the color stories are pretty different, but we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one uh, over here so we can take a look at how they compare. So I'm just gonna swatch these off camera so I can kind of line up the colors and then I'll be right back. All right, so here's Flora Kalahari versus Mineral Scapes. So you can see with Flora Kalahari, it's a warmer color story overall. We do have, you know, a few more shades with some, like a little bit more color variation, such as this shade here, which is a deep purple in the pan. It's like almost black, but then we have red shimmer in there. We have this like duochrome here. This palette was designed by Isamaya French, whereas this one's Lucia Pica. So you can see a difference in their styles. But one thing I'd like to note is we do have a lot of shimmery metallic shades in here. Some of these feel a little bit grittier compared to the ones here in the Mineral Escapes. These all feel very creamy. I can't feel the glitter texture. Some of the shades in the Flora Cali Kalahari, I can feel a little bit of that texture. So if you have this palette and that's something you've noticed, just know that the Mineral Escapes uh, does not seem to have that in any of the shades. So overall, you know, definitely a very different palette. This green here is kind of our closest. You can see those match up, but we have even more of a golden flip here, but those are pretty similar. This is a little bit of a warmer green, whereas we've got a little bit more blue in the mineral scapes green. Uh, you know, we kind of have this warm brown here, which is gonna be warmer than any of those here, but it's a matte. And yeah, I would have to say the next closest would be this teal shade, which is, this one is one that I mentioned uh, has the grittiness issue. So we've got more of this like deeper base here. There's a little bit more black in the base and then teal shimmer. So it's pretty different from these, which are more of a true um, satin metallic shade instead. So that's how those compare. And I have to say overall, I think this Mineral Escapes palette is fantastic. It's definitely going to be well loved by cool tone eyeshadow lovers. If you prefer warmer tone shadows, this probably isn't the palette for you. We do have some warm shades in there, but this is definitely gonna be for those cooler shades. Now we do have plenty of shades with neutral undertones in there, such as some of these like taupes and dusty purples and so forth. That can work really well on people with warmer undertones as well, unless you're overly warm. So if you're like closer to neutral in the scale, you know, this would still work in my opinion. So overall, I think it's a fantastic palette. I really love it. I think the formulas are great. I think they did an excellent job. I can't wait to see the rest of this collection pop out. We are still waiting for, uh, you know, a, a lip vinyl, which, you know, it might end up looking pretty clear. It's hard to say. So, so I hope this has been helpful. I personally love this Mineral Escapes palette. And I'm just so happy to have this in my collection. It is limited edition, so definitely don't wait 
if this is something that is on your list. This is something you're gonna have to get quickly. It keeps selling out, but they are restocking. So, you know, it will be available for a little while, just probably not as long as some of the previous Byredo 18 pan palettes have been, just based off of how quickly it's been selling out right now. So, uh, I again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you very soon. Have a great day.